and today is July 7th and I'm actually on my way to a card making retreat for the weekend but I am not going to do cards I am actually going to quilt so I'm bringing my sewing machine so I will be working on hopefully a project that I can upload for Sunday which means that my Sunday video will be late so I will see you at the retreat center Hi, it's T. It's actually day number two of the retreat. I did not do any recording yesterday. We are in a very small area and I didn't feel comfortable recording in there. So I'm on my way back now to my room and maybe I'll give you a room tour. But basically we come into this long corridor. We're actually at the Marriott Courtyard in St. Charles, St. Peter's, Missouri. And I haven't had my bathroom cleaned yet. My housekeeping, but very nice hotel. It's only about a year old. So if you're interested in a hotel in a St. Louis area, this might be a good idea. And then the toilet is here. So very nice room. This is behind. So typical restroom, but it's nice and big and I love this walk-in shower and it's got the waterfall shower head that has three different settings. It's nice. Mirror here. And then you walk into the room. I have a room with the king bed. And this nice sofa area is just awesome. Side table, lamps. And then we have this side over here, some storage, a desk, TV that you can turn to watch if you're in the bed or on the sofa. And they got lots of plugs in different places as well, so I like that too. Over here is a refrigerator and your water bucket is in there and then coffee maker here. And the view is actually facing out on Highway 70. So very nice room, but I came to the room because I want to use floor space so that I can work on my apple core quilt. So I am going to change my battery because it's flashing and then I'll be right back. So the apple core quilt is my main reason for this week's upload. As you may recall, I put in my Q&A video that I was going to start going back through some of my works in progress trying to get them further along the process. When I started working on this quilt in 2016 I actually had only one half of what you see here done so I had one quarter of this quilt completed. I actually had stopped right here so I actually did 16 four patches is how I'm actually piecing this together and I do have an actual video that shows the whole process so I will add that up to my left shoulder you can see the little white information click on that and it will take you to the video and now I am working on the next quarter of this quilt so I have just pieced 16 blocks at the retreat and now I am ready to lay this out to make sure that none of the fabrics will touch each other. And then I can go ahead and sew another portion of this quilt together. arrangement 
So I am going to mark these rows and then take them back downstairs to the sewing area and sew this quadrant. I don't know if I'll get a chance to complete the entire quilt, but if I do, I will come back and show you my progress. But my goal was to at least get one quarter of this quilt sewn together this weekend. I have also worked on other projects. I did two backings, one for my solstice quilt and also another quilt that I haven't shown you. And then I also pieced borders and did backings for two other quilts neither of which I think you have seen. So maybe I'll show you those tomorrow in a show and tell video. For right now, I will see you probably in a few hours because it takes a little while to sew these apple core blocks together. So I'll give you an update. I'm back many, many, many hours later. I have kind of sewed on this for the last 24 hours. I really did not think that it would take that long. So this is the only thing that I've done since Friday night. And I have four patches. I made 16 of those. And then at the bottom, I added an additional just one row. So it's an odd number. So I start with pink and end with pink. So just for tonight, I'm going to go ahead and sew this connecting seam and then I'm going to be done with this project and I'll just need to make the last quarter the next time I go on a retreat or something like that but at least it's gotten updated quite a bit at this point so I am just going to go ahead and end the video here I'll add a photo of uh, I'll add a photo of the connected piece Hi, it's T and I'm home from the card making retreat and I just thought that I would do a haul. I know this is not quilt related, but I like to share all crafts just in case some of you quilters have cross crafting skills. I will start with the stuff that was free. The, the organizer of the crop, when we came in, she had various free gifts for us. She had a lot of paper and some of it is two-sided so I will just show you these pieces real quick show you both sides And I think these are just miscellaneous papers. I don't think that they were in any particular package or kit. And the last two that I showed you only had something on one side. So the next thing that was given as just an attendance prize from the organizer is she had mugs and wine glasses. And she also brought paint that some of the people actually decorated theirs. I just decided to leave mine plain. And then inside she had a zig marker, glue pen, a sharpie. And I started putting my own stuff in here so some of this is not a gift. Some ribbon. A nail file, some stamp cleaner, washi tape, which is green, some stickles, 
So each wine glass or mug had all of these items in it, along with a couple of pieces of chocolate. And she had, it was also her 40th birthday, so she had birthday cake and cookies. And she provided pizza. So it was a lot of fun. And then some of the gifts that I received from people there was this lady had printed out on some cardstock a map of New Orleans and so I have some pictures from New Orleans that I want to scrap and she was giving these away if you wanted it so I opted to receive that and then another lady had some of these little containers that your Sizzix dies come in your framelit dies and I use these to store other things in so I took three of those They did a card exchange and I did not participate in that just because I didn't have time. So one of the ladies gave me a card. It's called Just For You. I don't know if I can get that to focus. But it's really pretty. It's very simple and pretty. And then she added a piece of washi tape on the outside of the envelope to decorate it. And then another lady also gave us a card. It's a birthday card. She had made extras from the swap. And so I thought that was really sweet of them to do that. So those are all nice gifts. Then in addition to that, we had raffle drawing where she does organizations for her church where they do backpacks for children. So we did raffle tickets where the proceeds went to that. And first thing that I won was this laundry bag that a lot of the ladies at the crops were using to bring a lot of stuff in. So it's actually ginormous here. And you can also take the rails out of here if you just want to store the bag and it will collapse down. And I won this gift. We had a game called Pass the Hat, and it's a cuddle bug embossing folder. It actually has a big embossing folder, and then this one here, and then it also has the little one that goes in there as well. I also won from the drawing an entire basket so I will try to hold it and let you see it but this is how it was wrapped in cellophane I've already opened the basket and I'll just show you what's in here is some ribbon is actually three different colors got lime green purple and teal cream of flowers Some more Prima flowers. Look like they could be butterflies. I also received this kit. It's called Jubilee. And it has 16 two-sided pieces of paper. There are eight different sheets and they're repeated. So you can either use both sides on the same side or you can reverse them. And I won't show you those sheets since I've shown you told you the title of the paper kit but inside it has some clear frames and you might can see the frames better on the back side and has decorative brads so this all came in the kit enamel shapes label stickers and then these are rub-ons I know this is not going to show up on the camera because it's white on white but you actually use a little popsicle stick to rub that in this same kit also came a sheet of metallic gold metallic paper 
not in the kit it came in the basket that she had wrapped and then she had 20 pieces of paper i got five different colors and it coordinates with the paper pack that i got and so these are all solid so i've got four sheets of a very pale lime green or very pale green light blue royal blue yellow and then the last color is red so these all kind of have a linen feel to them and then the last item in the basket was this I forgot what this is called when your binder has a hook lock but it's a hook lock binder and it opens up and it's got five pages which you can do on front and back so it's ten pages e total and you can also put a little photo or label in the front to give a description of what's in your particular book so I am so excited about getting ready to go back into scrapbooking that's one of the main reasons that I got into card making is because that was my ultimate goal I usually and my family's photo keeper of the photos but you know since we are very high in technology now a lot of that's being shared online but I still like to have an actual document where we can document our family history so I have photo books that are set up in family tree style then I bought a few things of course the lady that coordinated this event is a stamping up demonstrator but I didn't buy anything from her because when I do buy anything from stamping up I always give her credit I always order online so my items can be shipped to me instead of shipped to her and there was a lady that was selling Rada foods and I don't know if you ever have heard of this they also have cutlery but I have never heard of this before and I make a very mean baked potato soup so I'm anxious to see how this works this bag was five dollars and fifty cents it says it's got five ounces and on the back it says all you have to do is add four cups of water to this bring it to a boil and then you basically simmer but I am going to make this jazz it up a little bit by adding the bacon maybe a few uh, potatoes that I cut up a new so I can have a little texture of potato and maybe add some heavy whipping cream in place of some of the water that's included in here so I'm interested in seeing how this stacks up to the way I make my baked potato soup Another vendor that was there was Creative Memories. And Creative Memories was very popular with scrapbooking a long time ago. And that's when I was actually scrapbooking. And I've always liked their adhesives. So I purchased a tape runner. And everything has changed because I have been looking to refill my tape runners from Creative Memories. But of course, after 20 years, all of that stuff had changed. So I ordered a tape runner. And then I really got it because I was interested in getting some vellum tape. And she had a special where you could get seven. No. She had a special where you could get five of these for $35. And they're regular $8.50 a piece. And then this tape runner is $9.50. The tape runner actually has permanent adhesive tape in it so I've got the one that's included with the packaging and then I ordered three more so this was my five I got three permanent adhesives and two vellum adhesives and the last thing that I bought was this scrapping easel a lot of the ladies there were using this so I decided to purchase this because when I was scrapbooking I did have difficulty with keeping my pages clean and I don't know if you can actually see from this picture but this actually can be elevated where it can be at that level there and you can also pull it up where you can use it as a display board or stand for when you're presenting things and so I plan to use this also to do photography on so I purchased that as well I think that was $65 and inside it has a 
gridded work surface. I haven't opened mine, but I saw the ones there. But it has a gridded work surface. And it also has a measuring tape. So if you've covered your grids, you can still measure how long something is. And then it has plenty of magnets so you can keep everything onto the board and off of your actual work surface. I know I didn't do any recording actually at the retreat, but they were more card makers and they weren't used to anybody recording. So I did not want to intrude on their privacy. But I just wanted to share what I could of my experience with you. So this ends this video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.